Welcome to South Charlotte Sports Report Live. We are back and rolling after a uh, much needed vacation, and I'm very excited tonight to bring you from Cuthbertson High School, Isabella Gonzalez. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Good. Uh, your sport at Cuthbertson is? Volleyball. And what position do you play? I am outside hitter. Okay. All right. So you guys are one of the two sports that are going to start. You're going to be the first ones to start. Right. No, you know when you're going back in the gym, how exciting is it to know that, hey, provided something doesn't go backwards with all the virus numbers and things like that, we're going to get to play. Really exciting. I have to admit, like going into this year and with all the uncertainty going on, really had no idea if we would even have a season this year. So I'm just really excited and really looking forward to the beginning of this season, November. Exactly. Uh, now, you, what have you guys been doing all summer? Union County has been very uh, – done a very good job and let you all train. Have you been training throughout the uh, summer with your team? Yes, we have. So, we actually started out virtually. We were working out on Zoom. And so, that was a very interesting thing to do. You know, usually by that during summer, we would be uh, going to school, doing workouts in person with our coach, you know, preseason stuff. But this year, with all this chaos, we've had to do it on Zoom. So I'm actually really happy we got that opportunity because we got to, you know, see each other and still have an interaction and, you know, really get to form that bond. And even though we weren't in person, we still had that same um, connection. So we started those workouts and then slowly but surely we're getting back into the gym and all that into the, um, into the court. What kind of success can we anticipate for Cuthbertson once the season starts? I'm actually really looking forward to the season, and I think we're going to do better than these past years, really, and with our new coach, too. So he's really bringing in a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of uh, passion into this season. And I think he's just hyped up everybody. So we're coming. We're coming for our um, <laughs> the competition. i tell you, with what I, with what I know about your coach, it's probably the perfect school for him to be at because Cuthbertson is such an energetic school as far as helping the kids get their, get their due notice, helping the kids have excitement, firing up the entire school combined with him, I think it could be a really good uh, setup for you. Yes, I'm, I'm really excited for this year. Now tell me uh, who are some of your other senior leaders going to be? Well, we have Jessica Mayer. She's going to be a senior this year. We also have Taylor McIntyre. And so um, we really have, we have a couple of seniors. Let's see, who else do we have this year? We also have uh, Maddie Dillinger. She, um, basketball she, player. She's a basketball player. So she, she is a senior this year, but she unfortunately, because of basketball, she's been with us the past couple of years, but won't be joining us this season. But um, I'm sure I'm forgetting one person. <laughs> it always happens. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, what have you begun to think or make any plans for after high school? Well, we're, I'm right now looking, um, been applying to colleges and, you know, forming all that right now. So not too sure I'll be playing volleyball in uh, college, but definitely, definitely still want it to be part of my life after, after this year. Now, have you always played club volleyball as well? Yes, I have. Um, this past year, obviously I haven't, but, that's actually where I got my start was with uh, club. And then that's, that was about sixth grade, I want to say. Right. And um, each year I've been part of uh, high school. And so recently I've been uh, not doing club as much just to give myself a break in between those seasons and, you know, focus more on gaining strength. But club has definitely been an awesome to do in between seasons. Okay. Let's talk about the last 22 weeks. Obviously the first, six or eight weeks of this pandemic were probably the toughest. You were stuck at home. Um, what are some of your memories from those four, five, six, seven weeks where you didn't go anywhere? Wow, that quarantine, that was it's tough. That was, that was, that was definitely, and definitely an experience I never thought I would get to experience. Um, we started school, so I just say on those books, had to keep up with that because I did have two APs that I would be taking that year. And so I was in about a slack off with those classes. So studying for that, definitely still doing schoolwork, but also finding time to do things that I hadn't been able to do with school, just having had such a busy lifestyle. I really was able to get back to things 
I totally forgot I enjoyed, you know, right. reading, painting, doing that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it was a blessing in disguise or a little bit. <laughs> I kind of miss it a little bit at times. <laughs> um, tell me, let's talk about some fun stuff. You and the girls win your uh, first match of the year, and they ask you to make a choice mm -hmm. of where are we going to go to to celebrate, where are we going to go to to eat, to hang out. Where are you going to choose? <laughs> I would say Andy's because that's actually where I work. So, you know, get some custard. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Take, take the girls out to some Andy's. All right. So we'll, we'll let you do that. Um, Let's say that something really special happens in your life and uh, family says, hey, we're going to go out, really super nice place to eat. Where are you going to choose? Ooh, <laughs> I've only been here once, so I definitely want to go again. I would say the melting pot. That a lot was, of people say that. Yeah, because, I mean, that was just a neat – it wasn't just the food. It was just the experience of cooking your own food. I was like, that, that was pretty fun. That was neat, no doubt. Uh, that is a good choice. Um, best female athlete at Cuthbertson High School. Hmm, that, I feel like I'm a little biased in this one because she's just, I look up to her so much, but because she did two sports and I'm actually going to say, I'm going to say Maddie. <laughs> Maddie no, listen, you. that's probably that. If you're going to have a discussion about it, that's definitely one of the ones you have to include, no doubt. Yeah. I mean, to be that high of a tier in two sports, like, yes, people do multiple sports, but I mean, they're not usually the, not, not the best in both sports, but I mean, she's just amazing and always pushing herself above and beyond. So I don't know how she would wake up to do those basketball practices and then that evening come to volleyball and have the energy to, you know, put in all that effort. How badly do you want to get back in the classroom five days a week instead of one day a week? Ooh, I mean, to be honest, I kind of enjoy the one day a week a bit because you go to class. You've only done it one week now, one time. I, yes, but I, I do miss it a little bit. But, I mean, waking up every day that early, that's, that's a bit tough. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Uh but, you know, it's, it's the getting back in and seeing everyone, not just your circle of friends, but everyone at school. So, I, you know, we'll see what happens. I, I have faith that Union County will find a way to make it happen this year. I have faith that Union County will find a way for you to have a lot of your special senior events like prom and things like that. So I, I feel good about what, you, what, what will go on in your county, no doubt. Um, yeah, I think we're definitely on a, or definitely progressing, you know, and I think, I think we'll get there. I think we'll, we'll really see some change. What was it like at school the other day uh, for those that haven't been to school yet, having to wear the mask all day? It was challenging, but the teachers were actually really accommodating and giving us time to go outside and socially distance. We got to take our masks off and, you know, we did get some breaks. So hopefully for those that haven't gone yet, they get some good teachers that let them do that because that was really helpful for sure. I'm hearing a bunch of that right now that, uh, you know, just going out for five minutes made such a big difference. Right, right. Mass break. We all need a little one of that. Exactly, exactly. Well, I really appreciate you joining us tonight. It, uh, it's always exciting to have student athletes from Cuthbertson on here. Your coaches always do an amazing job in nominating, uh, student athletes for me to talk to. So thank your coach and I thank your school. And uh, I wish you all the best once uh, you get volleyball season going. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me on here as well. This has been Trip Rogues tonight for South Charlotte Sports Report Live. We'll be back again soon. Until then, have a great night. All right. Thank you so much. Really good job.